Baroque was a style of art and architecture known for being big, bold, and full of color. Authentic jewelries in that time period sell for millions. So if this cross is truly over now, 300 years old, it's worth a lot of money. The way you made jewelry back then, very, very basic. These are diamonds right here, but they don't look sparkly because diamonds are really hard to cut. And up until better than 150 years ago, first they get a piece of wood, they put the rock on the end of it, so it hold on to the diamond and they get a copper plate. Okay. And they put water and up to 25,000 I've seen. Mm -hmm. And I figured leaving enough meat on the bones for you, I'd say 8,000. One of the hard things with this stuff though is dating it. Within There's a lot of little things. You know, I you see all these so serrations impressed. on the back? Yeah, those are all done by hand. It actually is pretty impressive when you think You can see all the imperfections and the different depths and everything like that. Why you can see those in the Now, the problem we have with this is battles. we have no oh, European yes. hallmarks. This would have been made here. Right. Just use your mind, magic, to make me a different even color gold in this color. That's soldered on Which is. Not a good sign. We didn't have a blowtorch. Reno and so forth. Which is the interesting old girls behind the baby's house. It's not really the usual. Yeah, I mean, what I was in the day, no, you got like 200 bucks for the gold. This is where I will finally destroy you. I really don't need a lot of time here. I tried to tell you. Alright, have a good one. Appreciate you coming. Thank you very much. You think it's a new attack? I didn't think it was. So if you could make a deal, I'm gonna get a second. Grant me magic. Fire! Give me more green! Fire! I figured out the solution to our problem. No problem, no action. No, actually, I'm not worried on the clock. For the boss, so it's all of the problem. And I think our problem could be fixed with a simple threat ban to keep the question given in my eyes. This is why I don't fire you because you just make you laugh sometimes. <laughs> um, no, don't head that. You sure? Awesome. Oh. Apparently the old man doesn't know the rules. What rules? Apparently there's a no hat rule. That sounds like so many other rules. Yeah, but what's the rules to do? It's to do with something that you don't have. If you dress identical to the old man, you can wear that to go. I have been wrong with the standards. For what? To keep your back so. <laughs> On this episode of Pawn Stars. I have the Panama Canal Service Medal. That is cool. It's a great piece of history. It's really a I got a couple collections of these things called Wacky Pack. Oh, wow. To see the whole set is actually pretty cool. Take them off. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you the money. Plus $1,500 for that map of the EOG in the land. Not even close. Well, I had two of those maps last month, so I could talk about it. Oh. Yeah, I need like 150 bucks for I I can't I can't do that. Three three fifty was too far for a third of price. I raise up. And uh, I mean I built four hundred but the end. I I can't let it go for that. It actually means too much to me. Did you change your mind? Give me a call. Okay. Stop by Friday. All right. Cool. Thank you. Since we weren't able to make a deal today and buy it, try to sell it elsewhere, I have no doubt I'll give my asking price this month, this year, next year. Oh, you again. How you doing? Pretty good. What do you got here this time? Well, I got a couple collections of these things called Wacky Packs. Um, they're like old trading cards slash stickers, and they're pretty funny. They actually have a bunch of different brands that they spoof. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let me check it out there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know these. Interesting. We got uh, Head and Boulders shampoo. Yeah, I think we all know what that is. Covered rules. It's not that I don't want to use. Yep. Oh, here's my favorite. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I like that one too. That was my favorite too. I 
kicking the pawn shop today to sell a collection of wacky ads. Wacky ads are trading cards and stickers that were popular in the late 60s, and it's rare to see like, a whole collection of them together like I have today. This is pretty cool. Here are in the late 60s. They were made by Tops, and these would have been real popular when they came out. I mean, these are playing all the most popular brands, and a lot of these products are still around, right. you know, 50 years later. Totally. And I found that these actual one time were more popular even than um, baseball trading cards. I bet they were because these were fun. You could laugh at them, they could take them off, lick them, stick them, you know, put one on your buddy's locker, do whatever. Yeah. You just have a good time with them. Yep. There's like about a total, I think, 356 uh, individual cards or stickers. To see a whole set is actually pretty cool. And you have two of those sets, that's even cooler. Yeah. So what do you want to do with them? Um, I'd like to try for how much. Well, I think the fair price might be around a thousand. Um, all right, I'm going to call my buddy Johnny down and uh, he's going to take a look at it. I actually don't have that much time today. I'm sorry, I was going to ask if, you know, we can try to get this done now while I'm here. I mean, we can try. Usually I call my guy in, but I do know a lot of doctors, so I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm going to uh, offer you 200 bucks. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, that's quite a difference. Would you do eight? No. Uh, I'll tell you what. This will be my highest offer. I think I would feel comfortable at 500 because I think no matter what, I could at least get that back out of here. I think I could live with 500. All right, uh, what's the deal? Thanks a lot. I really hope I don't come to find out too many things worth like a bazillion dollars, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be happy with the 500 bucks that I got today. Uh, Pay attention. All imaginators are amazingly your effective in this show. Your hands, your hands, your hands, your hands, your hands, your hands, and of course, the role is here is your hands now. And here's a simple mnemonic to help you remember the story. Join Jumping Jumping Jackalope, Jeff Jeopardy, Tiffany Jam, Art Play. You can win a spin, and you can win a Honey, aren't we having friends over? It's great thing here. I know. I stole the other team's mascot for good luck. We need to wash this room. Wash it? Yeah, wash it with the For all the things you can't wash, use the breeze fabric compressor. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And try pluggable for breeze. With up to four times the freshness in one refill, pluggable for breeze and fabric compressor. Two more ways to breathe happy. For those who suffer from chronic pain, a medical breakthrough is opening the doors to a whole new life. Introduce Sunquell, 100% drug-free, wearable pain relief. Sunquell is a total paradigm shift in chronic pain relief. Sunquell stimulates sensory emergence of the gas. Neural pulses are carried to your brain, triggering the release of natural pain blockers that block pain signals in your body. Quell is FDA cleared for use 24-7, so you can experience chronic pain relief whenever you need it.